This isn't a DS. This is a DS. This isn't a DS. This is a DS. This isn't a DS. What is this rubbish? Wait a minute. This isn't a DS! Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. Today we're going to be taking a look at this thing. I found this on Sendico. Um, I thought, this just looks like a DS. Why is it so cheap? Oh, it's not a DS. This is something that I've never seen before in my life and I'm really excited to uh, open it up and take a look at it. Um, spoiler, I have had to put some batteries in it but I don't know if it actually works yet. I don't even know how to use it. But yeah, this is hopefully going to be the first time you've heard of this as well. There's no other videos on the internet and there's certainly nothing um, information-wise on the internet as well. So it might have been just a smaller scale product that didn't do too well. So it's made by a company called Banpresto. Now, I looked at some key rings on my second channel uh, that actually were made by Banpresto. So... Obviously, they have got a license with Nintendo because those little key rings were also licensed, and so is this. This is licensed. It's also plastered with Nintendo DS logos, so it would have to have some sort of a license. I've got another uh, DS box here. This is actually an official DS box, and although the Nintendo DS box wouldn't have looked like this in Japan, uh, it does have some similarities here. You can see it's obviously black, and there's also this sort of like checkered design here on the background, and there's that as well on there. Um, but what is this? So unless you're Japanese and you've been able to read what you're looking at right here, I'm not going to tell you. We're going to look at it and find out. So there's some more Nintendo DS logos in there. And look at that. There is the little Nintendo DS itself. Now, that all looks pretty normal, doesn't it? Right? Okay, let's put that to the side. Uh, let's take a look at the instruction manual. Uh, there's nothing else in the box, unfortunately. Um, so... Yeah, as I said, it's all in Japanese. I want to hide those pictures, um, but yeah, not going to help us a lot. So here is the DS itself. Now it looks perfectly normal. Is it a little bit small? <laughs> so let me pull in an official DS. Look at that. It's smaller than an original DS. Oh man, it's so cool. Okay, so on the side, you've got nothing. Uh, there is nothing on this side anyway. On the back, we have all of the same ports except, what is this? A little power switch. We've got the uh, the cartridge slot on the top, although it's all dummy stuff. Um, we've got a fake charging port, a fake stylus, a fake lanyard slot. Would have been cool if they had actually just put the lanyard slot in the mold just to give it a bit more authenticity. Nothing on that side either. And then on the bottom, we've got a fake GBA cartridge slot, fake headphone, and fake volume uh, slider. It doesn't feel the same. It's not the same quality plastic, um, but it is it is fairly high quality plastic, and there is actually a, a sort of a rubberized um, plastic finish on the bottom. It interests me that there's two um, battery compartments. I only undid the screw on this one because there's a hole there where you would have had a pull tab for the batteries. But now let's flip it open and see what the inside looks like. So that's the uh, the original DS there, just to give you some familiarity if you haven't seen it in a while. Boom. Look at that. It is so cute. It's literally just, uh, I would say, 10% smaller or something like that, but you can see on the screen there it does say Nintendo DS voice recorder. Now the Nintendo DS did not have a voice recorder built into it. We didn't get that until the DSi, so this is actually quite cool. And you can see the microphone port, I mean everything is in the same place. Knowing that Nintendo was actually behind this and licensed it, maybe they just gave them the designs and they just made smaller molds. But yeah, you can see the power switch there is all the same, the D-pad, all these buttons press. Oh. Oh my god, I thought that was making that noise. It's actually just the DS. Um, the speaker holes are fake. Um, you've got action buttons over here. We've got start and select, and we've got our little power indicators, but I don't think they're going to do anything. So we can now set this one to the side. Right, so how do we use this? So I can see on the screen it's got X or A, or Y or B. Um, now there is actually a bit of a 3D effect to the screen up in the top there. They've like lowered the uh, the actual backing of this. They have actually put like a screen lens on there which has the Nintendo DS logo on it um, and they've done the same for the bottom. So that's quite cool. It does actually make it look authentic. From a distance, you would absolutely not be able to tell. So, if we hold down the X button, hello, 
Now what happens if we press the Y button? Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. Hello. Oh, hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. It sounds pretty. <laughs> it sounds pretty good. Okay, that's creepy. Right, so it looks like you can press A and X to do the recording. Hello. Hello. And then it's B or Y to play it back. So I don't think these buttons do anything else, any of these other buttons, but let's take it apart and actually uh, take a look inside of it. Why is there a battery compartment here when there's batteries here? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. It's just, well, fair play to them for actually putting that on there. It's just to make it look more authentic. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is really cool. I, I love the fact that someone has done this. Um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like, the, you know, the DS isn't a voice recording looking object it's just kind of funny that they've just thought voice recorder it's maybe because it was a really simple thing for them to do um, and it was something that they already had a license for with Nintendo for the key rings uh, reproducing designs of the Nintendo DS and other Nintendo products so maybe they just oh I wonder if there's any more which are also voice recorders on the back of the box there is actually different colors available so I'm gonna definitely try and collect them all you got to remember as well this was Nintendo's first DS so there was a lot of hype around the DS, so they're probably just trying to capitalize off of some of the, uh, the popularity of it. I'm looking for a date on the back here, but it's obviously all in Japanese, so I'm not going to be able to read it. Okay, all of these screws are off the back. Let's try and lift it up. There we go. Oh. Okay, that is a lot lower quality than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right, so the, uh, the shoulder buttons, interestingly, are actually separate pieces of plastic. That's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, you can see here, there's some hot glue that's been used to hold the wires into place. That never rings a lot of confidence. Um, there's the speaker, identical to the Game Boy, uh, the DMG speaker. There's our little microphone down there in the corner. And yeah, none of the buttons are going to do anything else because there's only one small PCB and it's right there. And obviously there's not going to be any other electronics anywhere else. Um, but it is cool. You've got this little separate board just here and that will be to hold down the buttons and the membrane. You can see there's actually just one rubber membrane there, which is just gonna sit underneath the center of the D-pad and allow it to be pressed down, but it's not gonna obviously be affecting any sort of uh, contacts there. There would have been four on the original to have on each contact, but that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. What a weird little object. Let me know if you've ever heard of this thing before. Let me know if you've got one. And uh, yeah, that will about do it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and leave a like. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.